Older was detained and charged with misdemeanor domestic violence with an ex, Tasia Van Rie. Johnny Depp's legal team grilled her on her alleged abuse of her girlfriend in 2009, which resulted in her arrest. Depp's attorney, Camille Vasquez, mentioned Heard hitting her ex-girlfriend, Tasia Van Rie. So Johnny Depp isn't the only partner Heard had ever assaulted. What is the cause of Heard's arrest in the case of her ex? Why didn't Amber Heard want her arrest history to be reopened? Keep watching to know more. According to law enforcement sources and documents, Amber and Tasia got into an argument at Seattle Tacoma International Airport on September 14, 2009. Amber is accused of grabbing and striking Tasia in the arm, which upset Tasia and resulted in her arrest. Camille was cross-examined by Heard saying, I've never assaulted any of my teammates. Further, I've never assaulted Mr. Depp or anyone else I've ever been romantically linked to. Two officers saw him strike Tasia Van Rie in the arm and yank her necklace off. She was quickly released from prison. Amber had spent the night in jail. The charges were eventually dropped because she and her wife were not residents of Seattle. The hearing audio was attached below. Amber can be heard near the trial. The Depp's team was allowed to read an article about the arrest but could not obtain the arrest warrant. The arrest the officer was permitted to testify, but they were not permitted to mention their position as an officer or that they had arrested Amber for this abuse. Further, Amber and her ex-partner accused the arresting officer of being misogynistic and homophobic. This occurred in 2016. Heard's case was assigned a number after she was arrested. Her mugshot was taken and she appeared in King County District Court in Seattle. On the other hand, Van Rie claims Heard was wrongfully accused and exaggerated the incident. Van Rie Heard's publicist said two cops misinterpreted and over-sensationalized the incident in a statement released Wednesday. I remember hints of misogynistic attitudes toward us that later appealed to be homophobic when they discovered we were domestic partners and not just friends. The statement said, It's disheartening that Amber's credibility and story are being questioned again. Amber is a brilliant, honest, and beautiful woman for whom I have the highest regard. We spent five wonderful years together and are still close to this day. The arresting officer was later revealed to be a a proud lesbian. Amber and her lawyers are on a press tour discussing suppressed evidence, the thing that begins with the claim that Johnny Depp wanted the trial televised as false. The court requested that it be broadcast on television, which Heard objected to, but Depp did not. Depp's lawyers attempted to bring this up, but Amber's lawyers objected to them bringing up the officer's false statements. Social media users went furious over the details and started trolling Heard for her abusive nature and misdeeds. One user says, For the next few weeks, I expect to see a lot of fake testimonials from anonymous nurses and counselors, etc., with a first name and last initial. I don't deny that many victims don't speak up or seek legal help, but I'm certain it's not because of AH. Another added that it's possible that DV isn't the only one who isn't speaking up. However, they unquestionably contributed significantly to the problem, and not in a positive way. Another user wrote, the media is a party to this. The media must write op-ed explaining why men and women should continue to come forward. This was a defamation case involving a celebrity. People don't seem to be able to think critically about this issue. Not everyone is famous. Whether or not that is a true story, the impact of this trial has been heartbreaking. There has always been and will always be women, men, who are afraid to come forward and tell their stories. Amber's team is exasperating the situation in the mainstream media. Amber had no evidence and her stories were all fabricated, says another user. Another added, she wished to be a voice for those who were unable or unwilling to speak up. Well done, AH. You made a mockery of real victims. One more wrote, that is precisely what will happen to DV victims. We did take a step back because Amber Heard lied. See what you and Amber Heard have done, Elaine Bredehoft? Another user further added that, what should be noted here for those who are suffering and are afraid to come forward is that this case proved that AH was the abuser and JD was the victim, and he broke the silence and won against his abuser. One added, people refuse to accept that women can be abusive. It's as if they convince themselves that women are always victims and men are always aggressors. They see a bruise on a woman and immediately think, battered woman, no context required. It's terrifying. One more wrote that, however, that person was injured and required medical treatment and medical professionals noticed something was wrong. This is nothing like AH. AH will never repeat a true victim, and the truth can be seen by the people, jury. Gender should never be a factor in DV cases, but truth is. Another says, Amber Heard did not silence any woman victim. DV does not have a gender. In this case, the victim happened to be a man, and he won the trial. The perpetrator was punished. That's exactly what happened. It's as simple as that. One fan spoke the truth, saying, can you really believe that after the trial? Amber Heard had more 
more evidence than most DV victims, but she was not believed. The woman in the emergency room is correct. Another added, Deb is a gaslighter, which is what abusers do, and you ate it up. You'll be furious once you discover what he's really about. Oh, those were the days. Why do you think Amber wanted to hide the evidence? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe for more.